the latest Space Engineers update has arrived. Have you ever wanted to make automated spaceships? Well, now you can! Space Engineers Automations is the next major update for the game, and it does what it says on the tin. The update not only reshapes automation in-game, but also continues the exploration of the NPC concept. Things like complex mechanized systems are now easily created with a new event controller block. With this update, you can create airlocks, docking clamps, loading bays, and even mecha controls. Yes, you did hear me correctly there. As of all Space Engineers updates, we have the major automatons update and the DLC pack that it comes with. Thankfully, the core blocks are free, like usual, and the decorative ones are part of a paid DLC. So you can still enjoy the update, even if you don't want to purchase the DLC. Cool, right? Let's break down this update. If you want to stay updated with Space Engineers development, as well as future updates and what's happening with the game, please hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 250,000 subscribers and hopefully we can do it by the end of the year. Also, comment on what you think of this update. Is it actually going to help you as a Space Engineer or not? Before we get to the core blocks of this update, aka the ones that make the big difference in the game, let's discuss what else has been added. I've chaptered this video so you can skip ahead if you already know about these or just want to go to a specific section. One of my favourite things is the new Willis Ducks. If you're a Star Trek fan, we'll call these Jeffrey Tubes. They're basically maintenance ducks you can put in your creations for characters to move around the ship for example. There are 8 of these blocks and a large grid only. A separate block called a Duck Grid seals off these blocks and it is included in this update and you can play around with it. They are free, you can use them in any of your ships and I look forward to what you guys come up with them. I'm definitely going to be using them. We've also got a new quality of life block. This is the air vent. It's basically a full block version of a classic air vent we have in game. Great for those annoyed by the main block's half block nature. Conveyor caps are now a quality of life block. They do what they say on the tin. Cap off conveyors and you don't need to display them around your ships or stations. See here for an example. In the same vein, a small connector is now introduced. I don't need to explain this, but it will improve your building on small ships. However, this block is rather important. It's changed to the small grid ejector. The block has become the small connector and includes the connector functionality. So if you log in and notice one's missing, now you know why. Finally, Keen Software House has introduced 2x2 wheels to the game. This has been added to the Wasteland DLC pack as well, so you can also update the wheels on there. This has long been a requested feature. Additionally, we've also got centered armor panels, and as you can see on screen, these do what they say. Finally. Okay. Automatons. The prominent feature introduced with the Automatons update is the event controller and AI blocks. Let's break these down as you might find them confusing. These blocks deliver a new way to automate every aspect of the Space Engineer's experience. During a beta test, I've seen people have taxi services from one space station to another, or even down to a planetary surface. You can even build AI helpers to assist you while you mine. This might sound confusing. There are 5 AI blocks introduced, but only 3 different types. The types are Move, Task and Combat, whereas the 5 different blocks are AI Flight, which is a Move type, AI Basic, which is a Task type, AI Recorder, which is also a Task type, then we've got AI Defense, which does what it says on the tin, it's a Combat type, and finally AI Offense, which is also a Combat type. Finally, we've got the Event Controller. Let's start with this and work our way back. The controller can monitor various block states and trigger toolbar actions when those values change. This can be used in conjunction with other automation blocks to create logic systems on grids. You can do various things like select actions, which determine what actions a block can execute when an event is triggered. Think opening a door, turns on the lights. Opening airlock, vents for the next room. Things like that. It sounds simple and it's not super complex and should be easy to make in game. Thankfully, there is an entire guide that I will link below to this video to where you can read more on the Grid AI. Keen Software House's Space Engineers team has provided this complete guide that makes understanding automatons and the event control block much, much easier. I highly recommend you go and give it a read. It will make your experience more enjoyable when it comes to understanding this update. I know it's confusing, just give it time. So, the paid DLC pack for automatons introduces various blocks to play with. First up, we have several warning signs. These little displays you can put around your creations offer several warnings to other players. It's just for decoration does not offer any change to the gameplay. I'm going to be using these on some of my ships. Similarly, we also got access panels. These can be installed on creations or as another decoration object. There are a few variations of these and you can see them on screen me playing around with them right now. Okay, so weirdly enough, my favourite block out of a DLC pack is the air vent fan. You do not know how long I've been waiting for something like this. Yes, I know it's weird, but it looks super cool for a ship design. 
you will want to use this if you're going for something like an old abandoned station and things like that. Look at the animation on screen now. Yes, they're animated, I know, right? Several other decoration blocks have been added. These are the inset light block, the pipework block, and the angled interior wall. Essentially, these are all decoration blocks that have been very well useful in designing your creation. So uh, get using them. I'm going to be using them on my ships. The top mounted camera is what it says it is. This is now a camera block you can mount on various things on the top. It's rather small and hidden, therefore plenty of practical uses can be found for this little one. There is also the emotion controller. It displays emoticons. 16 come with a DLC update, offering a range of faces you can display. In one of the trailers, and I think some of the promo art, we've seen little robots with smiley face on them, and it kind of reminds me of a Doc 2 episode where you had robots with their emotions that would kill you if they weren't happy. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen in Space Engineers, that's going to be kind of weird. We've also got the saddle cockpit. Oh, and a compact version of this. Essentially, this is a speeder bike cockpit with various uses. It comes in a 3x3x3 and a slightly more compact 3x3x2 version. Yes, I know it's a mouthful, but these have got a variety of uses. I am definitely going to be seeing speeder bikes zooming around my public space engineer servers. I know some of you are going to do it, but it should be fun regardless. There are also DLC versions of the automaton program block and the automation timer block. These are different styles of a programmable block variant with a console and LCD panel. The timer block is in the same, folded in a server rack theme. There is also a reskin of a sensor block in the same theme of the Automaton's update. Finally, we've got two new skin elements. These are a robot helmet skin and a plastic armor skin. So if you're into collecting and wearing skins for the game, this is for you. Or if you want plastic skins on your creations, this is also for you. I'm not fussed personally, but here we are. Other key important features in the Automaton's update are the following. For starters, we've got the feature that lock landing gears no longer take control of grids they're attached to. This is a big improvement for space engineers, in my opinion. There is also a mix of UI improvements, such as new overlays when manually controlling turrets. Not to mention, Intel Arc GPUs are now supported. If you use those, I'm not sure of anyone who's actually using them at the minute, but if you are, then they are now supported, so hopefully you're not going to get any crashes. Combat improvements have landed. These are built upon the warfare updates for Space Engineers we've previously seen and reviewed. For example, there are new target lock improvements. Turrets can now automatically engage a locked target, if it's within the turret's max range and line of sight. Also, the forget target and copy target actions have been removed, likely as they were not used that much. However, the copy target has been replaced with a focused lock target as a feature. When triggered, it means turrets will prioritize a target that is currently fully tracked and target locked by the player. Keen has also updated the lead indicator by adding a grey one plus a much needed out of weapons range indicator. This is a text indication by the way. It's helpful for combat gameplay in game, and finally the turret lock in distance has been increased by 500 meters, making it 2,500 meters now. Okay, I think I've covered everything that was in this update. Given this update was initially delayed from its original release date, it's fantastic to finally have it in our hands. Keen Software House seems very committed to what's coming up with the game, especially given that this year is the 10th anniversary of Space Engineers. Does anyone else feel old yet? I do. Keen is celebrating by holding an in-person event in Prague this coming September. More details are to follow, but hopefully I'll be out there, so if you want to pop by and say hello, then please do. It'd be great to meet more of the community, and link up VAR community as well. The Automaton's update is currently live on Steam, and you can also now pre-order Space Engineers on the PlayStation system as well, for PS4 and PS5. Oh, this update is also out for Xbox One consoles as well, or Series X or S, whatever it is on consoles. You can get it on there as well. So if you're an Xbox player, do let me know how you're finding this one as well. A new combat PvP scenario has been teased in the future. We will go over at a later date about the future of Space Engineers and what's coming up in the game. In the meantime, I have been Captain Jack. Thank you very much for watching this update. If you are enjoying the Automaton's update and having fun of it, please let me know down below in the comment section. And hopefully we'll be using it in a video series sometime soon, like Conley Salvage. Thanks so much, everyone. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you soon.